Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so we're out in the veg garden again today, uh, as you can see. Um, grass is getting a bit long, so uh, I'm not going to cut it today, but uh, I've got to do that at some point. Uh, but I've got a few things I want to do today. Um, I've got lots of stuff in the greenhouse which I really need to do something with. So it's either going to have to be potted on uh, into bigger pots or planted out somewhere into the ground or into my uh, little raised planter which I built on a previous video. Uh, I've got some, my sweet corn needs to go out. Tomatoes, cucumbers need, uh, they need to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, I've got lots of weeding to do as well, so probably get try and get some of that done today. And just generally um, trying to keep on top of things in here. Uh, it's that time of year where everything just grows like mad and the weeds are coming up all over the place. Uh, but I'll just try and do it a little bit at a time and just try and keep on top of it a little bit but uh, we're not too bothered about a few weeds anyway so uh, if you want to join me today that'd be fantastic so i'll just bring the camera over and i'll figure out what i want to do and we'll make a start so this is the sweet corn that i want to plant out today as you can see it's looking really healthy and I potted it on a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's desperate to go out now. So yeah, I've got eight sweet corn plants there. And I've got all these tomatoes which I need to do something with. Um, but obviously I'm not going to be able to plant all of them. Um, so I'll put a few in pots, plant a few out directly and try and give the rest away. And I've got some chili plants, and uh, sweet, um, sweet peppers, chili peppers, jalapenos, and California one there. I've got some watermelon plants over here, uh, which I need to do something with soon. So, um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do all this today. Uh, also got cucumber plants there, which are desperate to be repotted or planted out. Uh, but today I'm just going to concentrate on the sweet corn and weeding that area over there. And possibly plant out a few tomato plants. More tomato plants here. These are the first sowing. So they're about three or four weeks ahead of the other ones that are over there. So they're a lot bigger. And obviously I'll repotted them and I haven't repotted these yet. So. Uh, they're starting to struggle in these little pots now, so they need to go somewhere. Anyway, so we'll head back outside, and I will get that area over there weeded, get a sweet corn out, possibly put a few tomato plants in there. So I'll get back to you in a second, and I'll make a start on that. Okay, everyone, so um, I'm going to start on weeding this. So I'm just going to be using my little rotator. So I'm just literally going to dig it over a little bit, pull up as much of the stuff as I can, and chuck all the weeds in this bucket. Might leave a few of the potato plants that aren't in the way. And I also notice there's some nice flower type things over there. So they might be able to stay. Yeah, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm just literally going to go through, churn up the soil, and just yank things out. So it shouldn't take too long. Always looks worse than it is when you look at a massive patch of weeds, but Anyway, so I'll set the time lapse up or something, get this done, and get back to you and we'll get some sweet corn planted.
Okay, so I've just done this little square here for now and um, just pulled all the weeds out, dug them all out. Um, vast majority of them anyway. So this is where I'm going to put the sweet corn. So I've got eight sweet corn plants and I'm going to do them in a block formation in here. Because uh, with the sweet corn you have to plant them in blocks uh, so that they can pollinate each other. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just a bit of wood. I'm just going to go across and level this off a bit and give it a bit of a tampen down a bit. And then I'll get the sweet corn from the greenhouse and I'll make a start planting that out in here. Just put up any other weeds that I'll find as I go along. Uh, but I'm just using this bit of wood to flatten the soil down a bit. Uh, just so it doesn't dry out quite so quick. Uh, if you leave it all loose it'll dry out and also the cats will love it. Now come and dig it all up. So that's all the preparation I need to do for that. So I'll go grab the sweet corn plants. Okay, so I've got my sweet corn plants out of the greenhouse. Uh, the variety of these ones is incredible. So um, I'm going to plant all eight of them in this little block that we just prepared. So I'm just going to space them out. Just place them on the soil to get a rough idea of how I want to plant these. So I've got eight, so if I had nine, I could do three by three square, but never mind. Doesn't really matter. So, just placing them on the soil just helps you visualize how to plant them. So I think something like that should be good. And I'll just put the two at the front edge here. So that looks pretty good to me. So I'll just get these planted in here. And I've got my hori hori. I'll just do one and then I'll get the rest done. Uh, no point in boring you. So, we just squeeze it out of the pot, look at the roots on it. I'll show you. So, if this happens, don't be afraid to just get rid of most of them ones on the bottom. So, they're desperate to go out. So, we just dig the hole more or less where we want it. Stick it in. So I tend to mound the soil up a little bit around them, yeah, just because they they're very shallow rooted and just gives them a bit of extra support. So that's one in. Get the other seven in and then I'll go back to you
Okay, so that's the sweet corn in. So they're looking really healthy now. So hopefully, uh, they were quite root bound in the pot, so we're starting to get there. So hopefully now they're in the ground, they'll be able to put down their roots and they should really start growing quite fast now. So I've still got a little bit of space either side because I have to put two in the front row. So I think I might put a couple of marigolds in either side. Uh, just to stop any slugs or anything, but uh, the slugs tend to leave sweet corn alone most of the time anyway, so not too worried about that. Uh, but I'll get a couple of them parted in here, and then I'll do some more weeding. Okay, so there's that whole area there weeded, and I've just um, tapped it down a bit uh, with my little bit of wood, uh, just to level it off. Um, and that whole massive plant pot there, there's all the weeds that have come out of there, so <laughs> filled that up. Uh, I've got the sweet corn in, I've put a couple of marigolds, you can just about to see one there, on the other side. Uh, just stuck them in there because they need to go out really. Uh, so what I'm thinking with this bit uh, is I think I'm going to put four cucumber plants in there. Uh, so I'm going to have to make some sort of support for them. So I'll just go figure that out and I'll get back to you uh, before I make a start. Okay guys, so um, what I'm thinking is I've found this old truss here uh, which I've had lying around for ages. So I'm thinking I make some sort of support for the cucumbers, so I should be able to push that in. And if I lean this one up on the other side, push them into the soil, should be able to get the four, two plants on either side, and they can climb up that. Go get some wire and tie them together. Knock that in a bit more. That should work quite well for the cucumbers. Hopefully. So uh, I'll just go get a few bits and I'll come back. Okay, so this is what I come up with. Uh, just using this old trellis which I salvaged from somewhere. And uh, I've just made this little like obelisk type thing. And I've just tied it together with these, uh, with some twine. Uh, I always use twine because it's biodegradable and natural product. Uh, so when you're done, you can just snip it off and throw it on the soil. You don't have to throw it away because uh, it'll just break down into the soil. So what I'm going to do now is plant four cucumber plants, two on each side of this. Um, so I've got them here. So I'll choose two of the biggest ones, uh, the ones that are most desperate to be planted. So that one there, that one there looks quite good. So we'll get them planted around there and I'll tie them on just to give them the helping hand to find their way up the trellis. And hopefully that should be tall enough. Uh, they're quite a small variety, quite a small dumpy cucumber so they don't get too big 
uh, but the, the plants do get rather large but we can tie them up uh, until they get to the top and then we can snip the tops off and uh, the side shoots will carry on producing more cucumbers so I'll get them in and then I'll get back to you Okay, so I've planted the four cucumbers, um, two on each side of this trellis. Um, they should grip on by themselves, but uh, I'm just going to tie each one onto the trellis uh, just to give it a head start so it can start growing up the trellis. So I'm just loosely tying the main stem to the wood, uh, very loosely, just so that it goes in the general direction. Uh, we don't want to tie it tightly to it, because uh, as it grows the stem will get thicker. So just tie it on there and it will work its way up as it grows, hopefully. So I'll do the same with the other three and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've got the sweet corn in there and a couple of marigolds and I've just planted four cucumbers on this little trellis that I've just made and I've just tied each one on, uh, just tied the main stem onto here just to, um, so they grow up the trellis. And what I might do quickly is put a few more marigold plants around here just so the slugs don't come straight out and munch them uh, even though we have got some there uh, which slugs haven't touched yet uh, so we haven't had too many slug problems this year but um, it's always best to try and deter them if you can so that's what I'm using the marigolds for anyway so I'll go back to you in a sec guys Okay, uh, one more thing I'm going to do today before I go, uh, I'm going to plant some tomato plants uh, just in front of these sunflowers here. Um, so I'm going to do two red cherries there, uh, one of the beefsteaks and one of the tigerellas in here, and two of the romas in there, and then I can tie them to the strings as they grow and obviously the sunflowers will get taller and taller so uh, hopefully it should work out quite nicely and we've got the marigolds uh, which are great companion plants for strawberries and uh, for tomatoes anyway so apparently it makes them taste better uh, we'll see uh, i could even plant a few more marigolds at the other side so i'll get that done and i'll get back to you Okay everyone, so um, I've just put the tomatoes in, so I've done two 
uh, Roma's there. Uh, Costa Luto Fiorentino Italian beef steak there. Tiger rather there. And two red cherries there. So my plan is, as they grow, is to tie them on to the same wire that's supporting the sunflowers. Um, these side posts are quite secure, so and the wire's quite strong, so it should be fine. Uh, but we can change it up if needs be. Um, I can add individual supports for them if needs be, but I'm thinking that'll work. And I'm going to need to add a few more runs of wire to the sunflowers anyway soon. Um, so that's about it for today, everyone. Uh, so I've been out here about two hours, two, three hours. Got a fair amount done, planted the sweet corns. Uh, built a cucumber trellis and planted the cucumbers in there. Planted the tomatoes, a few more marigolds in. Did a bit of weeding. I might do a little bit more weeding, um, not on video. I uh, don't want to bore you with all the uh, mundane tasks. Uh, but anyway, guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said, that's about what I've got time for today. Um, next time, I'll be sorting the rest of this out. And I've got a load more tomatoes cucumbers uh, i've got some watermelons in there uh, which also need to be potted up or planted out somewhere so we'll be doing that and just other bits and bobs uh, but anything everything's growing well um the only fit harvest i've had so far is strawberries uh, there's one plum on my plum tree <laughs> you never know it might ripen anyway so thanks so much for watching any questions comments please feel free to leave them down below and if you could like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so uh, that would be great uh, but there's no pressure to do that anyway guys thanks so much for watching hope you all have a great week a weekend and i'll see you on the next one